All right, so today we're looking at the Akio Warrior Condenser Microphone. Now, could this feature pack microphone be your go-to mic when it comes to voiceovers, YouTubing, live streaming, gaming, podcasting, and the like? Well, we're gonna put it through its paces. Don't go anywhere, up next. Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for stopping by for another episode of Low Nose. Guys, this is a place where we help content creators just like you get better every single day through audio, video, and tech. So make sure you hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out on any other future videos. And if you like this video, well then go ahead and hit a like. And if you don't, well, hit that dislike so I know what kind of videos you are asking. All right, so like I said, the Akio Warrior Condenser Microphone. Now, to answer your first question, my answer is a simple no. Now, let me be clear, I really, really, really wanted to like this microphone. And let me take you through the beginning process of kind of discovering this microphone. First, here's the box, right? Look at this. You've got a nice looking microphone here, kind of like a chrome design, metal shape. I mean, it's just a really sexy looking design. And you even have three colors to choose from. You've got a silver, which is the one I chose. Uh, you've got a gold and you've got a blue accent. That would be this color right here. Beautiful. We can take off the sleeve of this beautiful case. And I mean, guys, look at this thing, man. This is a nice looking case. You've got little feet at the bottom. You've got feet here on the side. I mean, this looks like a legitimate instrument carrying case that you can use and it's rugged as heck. It'll protect whatever is inside of this, inside of this case. All right, so let's get inside of it. We open up the case and we are greeted with this microphone, this small little microphone. Now, when I opened this up and I showed my girlfriend, she was like, oh, now you guys know how we feel. Oh, man. Oh, well, that's disappointing. Oh, okay. So I responded to her. I know you're not talking about me. But at the same time, I was like, gosh, I sort of got to agree with her. I mean, I opened up this thing and I opened up this impressive looking packaging, right? And then I'm greeted with this small little microphone. And I kind of, I take it out and here it is. I mean, you see that? And then just kind of like in my hand, like that's, that's the mic. I mean, that's, that's the mic. You know, poor little guy. I mean, it's it's not to say that size doesn't matter, but you know, it's just like when you look at it, when you want a microphone, you want like a nice size microphone, right? All right. Well, let's see what else is in the packaging. In one box here, you've got your USB cable, and you've got your stereo cable as well. All right. You've in this in this box, you've got your pop filter for your microphone. Pop filters are always good. And if we look even closer at the microphone, uh, we've got our music knob here because it has a built-in sound card. We have our microphone knob here. We have our echo knob here as to why you'd want echo built into your microphone is beyond me, but it is there and it is available. Um, you've got your mic, you've got your body here, nice silver metal design, um, but we'll get into it later. But we, when you look closely at the microphone, it has a really, really, really tiny capsule. Oh. Um, this leads me to believe that with a small capsule, it doesn't really get the fullness and the roundness and warmness of your voice that you would see from normal, like higher end condenser microphones. So with a small capsule, that gives me a sense that it's going to have a little tiny sound. Um, it's going to be really weak and susceptible to me getting loud. It might overload really quickly. Um, but you know, we're just kind of looking at from the outside yet. Uh, let's not give judgment on the mic just yet, but I already know what's gonna happen because I already tested. Um, we'll look at the back, here's the base. It's got a metal base, nice sturdy metal base. Um, it's not going anywhere, it's not moving around. Um, but one thing that I wish that they changed was I wish there were like rubber grommets underneath it. Um, you know, if you had this on a desk, you know, there's gonna be vibrations on the desk and you're probably, it's probably gonna travel and hit the base and it being a metal base, it's probably gonna travel up into the microphone and receive, uh, you know, you'll hear the audible vibrations. Um, there's no kind of rubber guards right here on the, the parts that kind of turn right here. So like I said, whatever vibration ha happens, it's just gonna go up the base and up into the mic and then you're gonna hear it. Gosh, I wish the, I wish the mic was a little bigger. It's, it's, it's kind of like down here. So I can only imagine if I was talking, my voice would just be shooting over the mic, especially if you kind of try to turn it back here. You see how it's not going back far enough? So like the mic is just kind of pointing right here at my neck. All right, but we'll we'll test that out 
As we go under the microphone, we'll see our USB port right here, so you can power your microphone or connect this directly to the computer and use the USB port from the computer to power this microphone. Uh, you've got a headset jack and a stereo jack right here. Um, these are both the same exact uh, ports. You can both you can listen to your headphones at the same time and have the same signal, such as um, the sound card or your voice as well, going out to a separate set of speakers. So um, they're not independent, they're just a duplicate of each other. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I haven't talked into the mic yet. Well, uh, there's a bit of a reason for that. Uh, let's get to the mic test. Plug in the mic is super easy. Just plug in the USB port at the bottom of the mic and then into the computer. Once that power light comes on, the drivers will load up automatically. There's no need of you downloading additional drivers. Everything just happens automatically within the mic. Okay, so like I said before, the Octio Warrior Condenser Microphone. Um, this is a cardioid pattern microphone with a... Uh, like I said, it has the built-in sound card, the microphone input, and also the echo input with the housing with the metal base station. So hopefully it can uh, reject sound. Uh, this is what happens when I actually touch it right here. You know, you can hear the metal going. I'm not really sure at one point if you're actually going to be hitting the base part, but just if you want to know, you can do that. And it's weird because especially if you're going to have your, if you're going to be gaming, you have your mouse that might actually pick up those things, uh, those kind of frantic movements that you may or may not do. Um, I just wish it had some kind of Kind of cushion or rubber grommets at, the, grommets at the bottom so it could actually absorb those vibrations that may come from the desk all right so i'm just kind of rambling on right now so you can actually get a sense of what this microphone sounds like and one thing that kind of caught me off guard and i'm really curious about is it sounds like the mic has some kind of built-in gate inside of it and what i mean by a gate um i will say this this microphone does a fantastic job as far as rejecting sound or having it be a quiet mic. If I just stop talking, you virtually hear nothing. And that is amazing when it comes to a condenser microphone. I'll stop talking again and let's look at the waveforms on, uh, on the computer. You have a crystal clear, perfect line. Normally, if you had, normally, if there were some kind of rumbling going in the background like even the ac that line there would it would be kind of like bumping like up and down but the microphone does a great job of just like nope if if you're not talking or if the mic is not being in, engaged we are we are essentially turning down the volume on the microphone now this is a great thing when it comes to kind of noise rejection but not such a great thing when it comes to the voice meaning being if it sounds like my voice is kind of lazy or i've got some kind of speech impediment or something or it sounds like i'm not finishing my words well that's because of the microphone for my test with this microphone this microphone it the gate is so aggressive that it actually cuts off the ends of your words especially when you have when you say words that have a very soft ending like the or 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 whatever like a uh, sound you know no, nothing that has like a hard consonant um but if, if you're really like fun it might cut off the N within that word because the gate is just so aggressive and it kind of it kind of drives me banana and hopefully I hope it's just it's not driving you bananas. Um, but that's kind of like, ugh, God, it just, yeah. All right, so let's do a quick, I'm, I'm kind of flustered and frustrated um, with the gate of this microphone. And, all right, so let's try a little proximity test where I actually get it close to the microphone. And the, the microphone does sound a little better. Um, I'm pretty sure the gate does a better job of not closing so fast because i'm on top of the microphone and it's getting a full sense of what my voice uh uh the full tone of it and, and what's coming through so the gate's staying a little open it's not uh quick to close especially if i get so far back which is like blah 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 it's just closing right there so you're gonna have to be a little little closer to this mic but do you see the design the, the design flaw when it comes to this right now in order for me to get a really good sound and actually to fight the gate i have to be on top of the microphone but the base of this microphone is super low. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be playing games or chatting to someone like this. I'm going to be up here. And of course, with the mic not being able to bend back all the way, it's just missing my voice. And I am constantly in a state of sounding distance. Now, the, ol the only way I found to fix this problem is to put it on the awesome case that this microphone comes with. And now I can just talk here and kind of work and be freely and just kind of do whatever I need to do. All right, so now I'm going to give you a test of the echo effect feature on this microphone. I'll just start turning the knob up. You can start hearing my voice starting adding a nice little cool echo effect. And as I go further and further along the dial, you can hear the echo effect becoming more prominent and more widespread on my voice. And I kind of like the way it sounds. 
it kind of adds like a, a nice low end to my voice, which is really weird. I'm not really sure how it does that. Um, but I'll bring it all the way bit, all the way back down, and that's what it sounds like. All right, so those are my opinions of the Akio Warrior Condenser Microphone. What are the pros? Well, first, I love the look of the microphone and the beautiful case that it comes with. Um, the features that it has, being a sound card, uh, the music control, the mic control, and the echo control. A really nice looking microphone. Now the cons, man, well, there's plenty. You've got the heavy gate. You've got the metal base that could probably bring up a lot of noise. Uh, there's the, the small base that actually leaves it kind of low where your voice could just be tra traveling over it. And of course, there's a small capsule inside that will overload if you get too loud or aggressive with this microphone. Well, that's it. Like I said, I really had high hopes for this microphone. If they decided to work on a version two, um, hopefully they can improve the size of the capsule, make the mic a little bigger, maybe um, a maybe the bass can have some kind of shock absorbent and also make the mic a little talk a little taller and maybe get rid of the echo effect. It's really not that useful, especially when it comes to just kind of like chatting in and, and stuff. It's, it's it, in my opinion, it's a gimmick effect, but um, the microphone had a, a lot of promise, but unfortunately it just fell on execution. All right, guys, that's it. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. Any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, you can hit me up on social media at low nose, low, low nose sort of. And if you're trying to improve your content creation game, well then guys, hit us up on Discord at low nose. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care.